For the Serbian Prime Minister, opening of the annual Belgrade Marathon should have been a joyful event. Instead, he was confronted by some angry Serbians not happy with the recent agreement with Pristina. This man is asking Prime Minister whether he sleeps calmly after signing that agreement on Friday. Across the road, police removed a banner saying, you've sold Kosovo, which was put on the window of an apartment. There are numerous protests happening in Belgrade on Sunday and Monday. These people are trying to pressure the government and the parliament into not accepting the deal reached in Brussels. They feel that Serb interests in Kosovo have been betrayed by their own leadership and regard the signing as an act of treason. Although the number of people gathered in Belgrade center was not huge, their voices are loud. Our government doesn't respect our constitution. It's very simple. They didn't ask nation about such a serious problem. You cannot give to somebody else part of your home without asking a referendum. It's very simple. So it's illegal, it's not democratic, and it's a treason. The feeling of being betrayed is much stronger among Serbs from northern Kosovo. They'll decide on Monday whether to accept the Brussels deal and what their next steps will be, but their leaders are hinting that they won't accept it. Kosovo Prime Minister Hashim Thaci is having to deal with similar opposition. He called an emergency parliament meeting on Sunday evening to decide about the acceptance of Brussels deal. The opposition is already calling for rallies against it in Pristina, calling Thaci's signature a betrayal of Kosovo Albanian interests. In the meantime, the EU's foreign affairs chief, Baroness Ashton, final reply from both Belgrade and Pristina. EU faith in both participants in the talks is hanging on their decisions.